We have an example of Slester art that is over my shoulder. You can see it's a probably about a brick and a half, a standard brick wide, and maybe three quarters of a brick high. And so too, yeah, another piece. Sasto. This is probably three quarters of brick square. Standard brick square. And this one is a favourite of mine. Probably about two bricks wide and a brick high. It's a Cape Dutch scene. So you see, you can do anything, paint any subject. Uh, and uh, create something beautiful. And another piece, a little smaller, but equally beautiful. Once again, it's Les, your and friend. I'm going to begin with the very first project that I have in mind to show you. It regards uh, possibly my most foundational talent, which is an artistic one, that is visual arts, I paint. I love painting in oil, acrylics, even tried my hand at watercolours. Um, yes, I'm not just artistic, I regard myself as an artist, an amateur artist. What is the difference between an amateur artist and a professional? Well, a professional doesn't wake up each morning relying on inspiration, as amateur artist does. Uh, he gets down to work daily producing a body of work. <laughs> I don't do that. Uh, but I've learned a few things. And the one thing I want to show you is a very simple art project called Slasto or Sandstone Art. Here I will be able to teach you how to choose the right piece of flagstone, as some people choose it for crazy paving, I choose it, uh, appropriate pieces that I can paint on, I prepare it uh, so that it doesn't flake or uh, it can take the acrylic paint, that's what I use mainly on it, acrylic paint, I've used oil, uh, and I use it uh, to, and I hang it, that is I I fix it to the wall with screws and plugs. Um, uh, I, I do this mainly on the outside of, of my home and others uh, who've wanted it. Um, and that, therefore it's called uh, um, outside art. Um, and I will be able to show you how to choose the right picture or something uh, suitable to be painted. And then I'll sh show you what art equipment or materials I use, such as paint brushes and how to actually go about the, the painting itself. And then finally how to prepare it for, for hanging. Um, and then there might even be a chance that I could show you how to monetize the whole business. Um, are you looking forward to this? I am. So let, let's not enter around, let's get down to business. See you in the next video.